Hello all, it's Collector Man, and I collect all things entertainment related, including horror. And I'm actually showing off a horror collectible today. It's been a while since I've shown off something like this on the channel, and this is an action figure from the NECA Toonie Terrors line, and that is Michael Myers. Sorry for the glare, and he is kind of just floating in the package right now because I did open this in advance to reduce the amount of noise in the video. And um, as far as the Toonie Terrors line goes, uh, NECA has released over 20 horror icons so far, including um, Ghostface, Ash, Reagan from The Exorcist, uh, Nosferatu. Um, and speaking of Reagan from The Exorcist, it would be really cool if they would release um, some more female uh, figures. Maybe um, Pamela Voorhees from Friday the 13th, that would be really cool. Um, so the first thing that we'll take a look at, he did come with two accessories, and this is Michael Myers from Halloween 2, and it comes with the iconic skull pumpkin that you see in the opening credits, fantastic opening credits. Um, they may be my favorite opening credits of all time, not thinking about it too hard. But yeah, really good sculpt and paint job on this. And next, we will take a look at his other accessory, which is his knife. And I do like the detail of the paint one here with the lighter gray that makes it look like the light is reflecting off the blade. So a nice sculpt and um, paint job on this as well. And lastly, of course, we will look at the shape himself, Michael Myers. And these figures stand about six inches tall, and he looks really cool. I love how these figures are more stylized, and they appear um, the way they would in cartoon form, or maybe on an episode of uh, Scooby-Doo. So he is wearing his dark blue coveralls, and a light blue shirt underneath. And I really like the sculpt and the paint job of this figure overall. I really like the hair. I hope you can get all the detail. I know it's not as good as it would look in person, but it looks fantastic. And here is the back of him. The only thing is his um, hand seems to be very large compared to the rest of him, but um, that's cool because it's a more stylized version. Um, and as far as the articulation goes on this figure, the head does move quite a bit from side to side. In fact, you can get it to rotate all the way around. It's just a little hard because of the collar of the coveralls. And his arms do move up and down. In fact, his left arm does move all the way around. And his right arm, which would be his stabbing arm, uh, moves only this far from his face uh, down to his side. And we will see if the knife actually fits into his hand well and we don't have to force it too hard. Because for those of you who collect action figures, uh, you may know that a lot of times it can be hard to get the accessories into these figures' hands. So we will see. And wow, that actually slid in there very easily. So I'm happy about that. So there's a look at the shape with his knife. Very, very cool. Uh, don't know if I mentioned it or not, but Michael Myers is my second favorite slasher um, after Freddy Krueger. And I hope all of you enjoyed this quick look at the Michael Myers from Halloween 2 from NECA's Toonie Terrors. I do have two more of these figures, but I'm deciding whether to take them out of the box or not. And um, if I decide to do that, I will show those off on the channel as well. Um, hope all of you are doing well, 
and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.